So finally, after almost three months, this custom room is back named as Sparkways was one of the best custom homes in the terms of customizations or features but after a long time basically almost around three months the last update was in may 2023 june july august three months skip almost august by the way august last we finally got the august security patch update the spark OS version is 13.7 it includes insane number of new customizations so we're going to talk about all of those things in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end this is spark os and if you move on to the default launcher of course it's having almost same kind of features but firstly we have the themed icons available if you choose the default themed icons you also have the option to choose the themed icons in the app drawer and the monochrome themed icons options are present including this one we have the option to show the status bar shadow or not in your home screen and you also have the option to choose the at a glance widget to customize the at a glance widget and the google search bar also has the monochromatic search bar theme it also brings you some gestures the same like Autos launcher basically as you can see themed icons are basically same like lawn icons you can choose any other icon pack if you want to it's totally up to you recent panel is also having the split app option for example if i move on here and try to open the recent panel you can see the split app option is present the feature when i found in rising os latest version which was rising ui basically rising ui 1.3.1 .1, this feature is also present in spark os latest version and this is what about the default launcher it is we have the option ready to launch your vibration intensity also quite amazing quite impressive a lot of customizations in the default launcher moving on to the other options if you move on to the font style you can see you can notice here things are a little bit different the ui is a bit changed the option how you can apply the fonts on a device although things are basically same you also have the option to choose the custom fonts if you have any for example i guess dot ttf or dot otf these formats will work i'm not sure exactly sure about this one but these are good enough you can choose the custom fonts at the bottom and else you have extra already pre-installed fonts are available we also have the quick settings styles layout option available where of course you can customize the cost, uh, these columns rows and rows for the quick quick settings portrait like this one if i apply this like this so you have the option to customize these things and uh, that is available for everyone to customize at all these things are absolutely free not like some custom rooms where they give you some paid features but in this case everything is free quick setting styles also have some options the same options for example these options are also present in the iconify magisk module if you use iconify in this case you don't need that because this is already available by default and all these things works without root you can see the quick settings panel this is how it is looking like you can customize that too we also have the option for quick settings header images by the way approximately 74 header images options available but including that this also have some advanced option named as header image filter three styles grayscale and blurred so if we enable this option after few seconds the quick settings header image will simply be changed according to that we also have the option to customize the blur radius for example if i enable the blur radius or enable the intensity 24 the quick settings header image will be blurred and like this so on we have the option to do so approximately 74 quick settings header images are available so you can choose according to your own preference we also have the combined quick settings header option available what this option is so if i disable this option let me show you what this option actually does after disabling this it will simply restart your system ui for once and if you move on to the quick settings panel you can see the clock at the top left the clock is now small it's not like the same like the qpr3 uh, basically right now qpr3 is changed if i enable this option which is enabled by default and if i enable this option once what you will notice is if i move on to the quick settings panel like this one the clock is now the big size this is what we have you can simply change it according to your own preference quick settings ui also have the android 11 style quick settings ui available which was kind of expected it's present you just need to customize the layout according to your preference and else things are done we also have the quick setting styles shape available 
data usage is also bit changed it's now improved this kind of data usage you just have to enable the data usage the second option which is show alternative data usage simply enable this option and you can see data usage includes the mobile data usage wi-fi data usage and total internet usage since boot this is one of my favorite feature and uh, first time maybe i saw that feature in corvus os and now you can enable this feature in Spark OS 2. So this is quite impressive. The data usage option is quite improved and which is one of my favorite features in this latest version. We also have the retigger notifications as expectedly. You can simply replace your heads up notifications. By the way, one thing is a bit interesting. I'm not sure why this is actually, but whenever you enable most of these options require system UI restart things could be different it's not a big deal but this is what we have because every time whenever you enable some options system ui is restarted automatically um this is one of the things to consider let's see if this will be fixed in the next update volume panel styles are quite amazing we have this new morph style volume panel like this one you can see this is how it is looking like if i enable this gradient style then you will see the gradient colors everywhere and this is quite impressive and gradient colors will be matched according to your material you theming the wallpaper or etc what you have applied shaded layer and else we also have the option for about phone style hide user card interface search bar style etc and also as expectedly settings styles are also present if i enable is oxygen or color OS style let me try to enable like this one this is also looking quite good it's looking like oxygen OS 13 i guess this is what we have we also have the options related to lock screen clock customizations and changing the lock screen clock styles is quite impressive bit unique available in rising ui i think so it was available in rising ui and now it's available in spark os 2 almost things are identical to both of these custom homes. some features which are available in rising ui are also present in spark os like the default launcher having the gestures option that split screen option and now this lock screen clock style all these options first time i saw in rising ui and now present in spark os 2 of course all those custom homes are cherry picking some features from everyone so this is basically same nothing unique here we have some options related to hide quick settings on secure lock screen and this user switcher option is so useful if i disable this option let me show you firstly when i started this video you notice the lock screen which was having that user switcher so now i have disabled this option so whenever you enter pin here you can see nothing to talk about it's basically same this kind of lock screen ui available by default but if you have user switcher enabled then you have the option to switch between the users if you are using multiple users option in my case i don't use that but if you use then you have the option to enable that we also have the ad blocker inbuilt we also have the option to hide the squiggle animation that media panels squiggle animation whenever you enable any media whenever you play any media that progress bar you can disable those animation things if you want to and available in dubfest os and some other custom homes too we also have the power menu styles available by the way approximately five power menu styles available if i want to enable this android 11 style this is how it is looking like the previous android 11 style power menu if i enable this classic android 8 style let me show you how this is looking like like this one although the layout is not adjusted properly could be my, in my device only but i found this so i'm just going to share with you android 11 sorry android 7 style looks so impressive but by default android 12 is there dubfest os is also one of those customer which brings you this power menu styles and maybe some other but i found that in only that dubfest os and also in spark os other options are basically same spark os is one of those customer which brings you a lot of customizations and with this new update which is having the august security patch the customer brings you a lot more customizations compared to the previous editions so this is quite impressive it still brings you all the security features app locker and we have the face lock fingerprint the hide apps option in app locker and uh, some other features too if you want to install this custom room on your device if it is available officially the link is already available in the description if it is not available officially only unofficially you can simply check out your device support group but this is it thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye and make sure to subscribe the channel